hi friends now in this topic i will discuss you the major differences of some processors such as 80286 80386 80486 and pentium processor firstly i will discuss according to the parameters we will go according to some parameters such as number of pins width of the data bus what is the width of the address bus what are the internal registers and what are its width and we will come across what is the clock speed and availability is there any availability of instruction pipeline and next what are the modes in which these processors are being operated and what what is its physical memory size what is its virtual memory and what are its segment registers we will learn all these things in detail so there are many questions asked in some examples the differences between 80286 386 486 and sometimes pentium processor is also being asked so i'll give in now let's start our video firstly when we consider the number of pins when we consider the number of pins in the 80286 processor the number of pins in the 80286 processor are 68 pins these are the 68 pins coming on to the 80386 the number of pins in this processor are 132 pins the number of pins in the 80386 are 132 pins 80486 the number of pins in the 80486 are 168 so the number of pins in the 80486 processor are 168 pins next coming on to the pentium the number of pins in the pentium processor are 237 pins are the total number of pins that we were found using the pentium processor now the data bus as you know what is a data bus it's an what is a data data bus it's a bi-directional bus it's used to collect the data from the address bus and just collect the data from the address bus and it also gives back the data to the output what's the width of the data bus in the 80286 processor it's a 16 bit and in the 80386 what is its width it's 32 and in the 80486 it's also 32 bit and whereas coming on to the pentium it's a 16 4 bit what's its address what's its width of the data bus it's the 64 bit and when we are considering the address bus when we are sorry for any disturbances when we are considering about the address bus the number of address lines present in the 80286 processor the number of lines present in the 80286 are 24 24 address by using this address bus we can find the memory location we can find the memory location by using the address bus and how many does these have it has 32 0386 has 32, 0486 has 32, and the Pentium processor it is having 64 bit. 64 bit. As you know, width of the data address bus, uh, address bus, as you know, by using the address number of address lines, by using the number of address lines, we can calculate the memory. We can calculate the memory. We can calculate the memory. How much? 2 to the power of 10 is equals to 1 KB here K represents the 10 and 2 to the power of 20 is equals to 1 MB it's nothing B it's nothing but a byte byte means 8 bits byte which means 8 bits and 2 to the power of 30 means 1 giga bytes by using the address bus we can access all this information but next we are now come, 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 coming on to the width of the internal registers 80286 it has 16 registers 16 internal registers and 80386 it has 32 internal registers and 80486 it has 32 internal registers and the pentium processor pentium processor pentium processor the number the what we call the width of the internal register in the Pentium processor is similar to the 80486 and 80386. It means 32 bit. What's the clock speed? The clock speed. What is the speed that you can 
what's the clock speed the speed of the microprocessor it is it is mentioned in megahertz in the megahertz this is the units of this clock speed we will be mentioned using this 10 to 16 megahertz what about 80386 12 to 40 megahertz 16 to 100 megahertz coming on to the pentium processor what's the clock speed of the pentium processor it varies such as from 60 to 100 megahertz next when we consider about the availability of the instruction pipeline 80286 it does not have the instruction pipeline and 80386 it contain instruction pipeline it is also considered instruction pipeline it also considered instruction pipeline what do you mean by the pipeline pipeline is nothing but executing executing many instructions more than one we can call it as more than one instruction more than one instruction same time when we at a same time executing more than one instruction at the same time is known as pipeline and the operating modes in which it operates is it operates in real mode only it operates in real mode only and when we coming on to the 80386 it is operated in real mode and it's also operated in protected virtual mode it's operated in virtual mode also but that's the protected mode protected virtual mode Sim now 80486 is also similar as 80386 it's also protected virtual mode when we are considering the pentium processor pentium processor it, it operates in all modes it operates in all modes this is the main advantage of the pentium processor physical memory what is the size of the physical memory size is 16 MB size is 16 MB it's a size 80386 size is 4 GB and the size is similar as 80386 and coming on to the Pentium processor its size its size is also 4 GB virtual memory what's the size of the virtual memory virtual memory size one second the size of the virtual memory is the size of the virtual memory is 1 GB the size of the virtual memory is 1 GB of 80286 now 80386 virtual memory size is 64 terabytes 64 terabytes it's similar to as you can observe there are many factors which are similar to the 80386 and 80486 it the, the difference you can observe over here the clock speed and mainly over number of the pins 168 pins and 132 pins and there is a size size also same the modes which is operate as you can see those are same factors other than those two and this is also similar and the segment registers right registers in which we store the data and which works to process the data the registers are CS, DS, ES and SS code segment, data segment, extra segment and stack segment here the CS, DS, SS, ES fs and gs here you can observe the force registers are same as the 80286 but we get other extra two registers are fs and gs here cs ds es ss 
F S and G S. That means it is similar to eight zero three eight six. And these registers, it is also similar to eight zero three eight six and eight zero four eight six. C S, D S, E S, S S, F S, and G S. You can write it directly in your exam and you will get the full marks. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe.